Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today I'm doing my 2016 beauty favorites. I really tried to just include products that were released in 2016. Some of them are just things that I didn't discover until 2016, but I tried my best to stick to newer releases from this year and I also really, really tried to narrow it down to just one product per category, but sometimes I had to pick two. I just couldn't decide. This favorites project is a collaboration with my friend Vanessa. You probably know her as Beauty Products Are My Cardio. She has a blog, so I'm gonna link her blog post down below when it goes live. That way you can check out what her favorite things from this year were. I'm gonna start off with skincare. I love all kinds of skincare products and I try a lot of different products, but there is one standout for me this year and that's the Garnier Micellar Cleanser Water. You can tell my bottle is almost empty. I've gone through, I think, four or five bottles this year and I'm about to have to pick up another one. I love this. I use it every day to remove my makeup before I wash my face and it's so gentle, it's not too drying, it doesn't sting my eyes. I just love it, can't live without it. Now for nails. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I love to paint my nails. I'm always trying new nail polishes, I'm always switching it up, and I definitely had a standout favorite this year for my nails, and that is the Orly Mulholland Collection. I have two favorite shades from the collection. This kind of reddish with a little bit of a gold sheen. And this one is called Hillside Hideout. And the other is this super cool like blackened gold glitter. And this one's called Party in the Hills. I love the formula of Orly polishes. I like the brush. I like the grip. I just, I like everything about these. This is by far my favorite nail polish brand. I also have to give a shout out to the Sage Feet Top Coat. This is a quick dry top coat. I know this isn't a new product, but it's new to me. I'm already on my second bottle. I use this every time I paint my nails. It's the best top coat I've ever tried and I love it. Obviously I love everything, it's my favorites. Now let's talk about tools and brushes. I have a favorite tool and a favorite brush line. First of all, this is the Viramona Color Switch. I've talked about this in several other videos. This is an essential for me. I love this so, so much. I cannot do my makeup without my color switch. And for my favorite brushes of 2016, I'm gonna choose these Wet n Wild brushes, the white brushes with the pink. Sorry, this one's dirty, but I use them really frequently. When these released, people went crazy for them, and for good reason. They're affordable, they're super soft, they're really pretty, they're just... I think this is a standout from 2016, one of the best releases of the year. Okay, we're moving on to makeup now. My favorite foundation of the year was the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This was an easy pick for me, I didn't even have to think about this. I love the coverage, I love the finish. I just, I love the way it feels, I love the way it looks. This is probably the best foundation I've ever tried. I'm so glad that Too Faced has been expanding the shade range for this foundation. I just think it would be great for everyone, no matter your skin type. It's perfect. Another super easy choice for me was my favorite concealer. This is no surprise, it's the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Concealer. I have gone through, this is my third tube, I love this so much for the same reasons that I mentioned loving the foundation. I just love the way it applies. I like the finish. If, if you haven't tried this, what are you waiting for? Because this concealer is fantastic. My favorite powder of the year is not a new release, but it's new to me. It's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. This looks great on its own. It's great to set foundation. I love the kind of soft, it's not even luminous, it's just not super matte. And I have dry skin, so this is perfect for me. Favorite blush of the year was really, really difficult for me to choose. I went back and forth. I had it narrowed down to maybe four or five that I really loved this year. Blush is so tough because it's hard to compare. 
between shades, finishes, wear time. When it comes to blush, there's not a lot of huge differences, at least not in my experience. But I did have a standout blush product, and this might be surprising, but it's the Benefit Dandelion Dew. Let me tell you why I chose this one. This is a liquid blush, and I think that it's really, really versatile. I love to wear it by itself, but you can also layer another powder over top of it. For a really minimal makeup day, I can just put a little bit of this on my cheeks and then brush a little powder foundation on top, and it just gives that little extra something. But if you're gonna do like a full beat, you can still use this. I put it on after foundation and before powder, and then I'll even amp it up with a little powder blush on top. So that's why I chose this. Aside from the packaging being beautiful, I love that it's in a pump and not a pot. It's just so easy, it's so versatile, and I've really found myself using this and loving this so much this year. I love that you can wear this really sheared out for a natural look, or you can build it up for a more dramatic blush look. The only downside is Benefit only offers this kind of liquid blush in this shade. And it is pretty light, so it probably wouldn't work too great if you have a medium or deeper skin tone. I wish they would come out with some more versions of their blushes in this format. I'd love to see like a Rockateur or a Coralista or something in this format, but it doesn't change the fact. I love it. My absolute favorite bronzer this year was the Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer. I will admit when this first released, I was like, oh, it's so shiny. I don't think I'm gonna like it. When I heard so many people raving about this, I decided to swatch it in store. I was really surprised by how much I liked it. I picked one up and I have just been over the moon loving this bronzer ever since. Another category that was really, really difficult to narrow down to just one choice was highlighters. There are so many great highlighters on the market. A lot of really awesome highlighters launched this year. One that really stood out for me this year was the Urban Decay After Glow Highlighter in the shade Sin. As usual, Urban Decay has beautiful packaging. I like that they're kind of color-coded on the back with these labels since they did come out with, I think, three different shades in highlighters. Sin is the shade that worked the best for my skin tone. I love the consistency. I love how bright it is. I really love like a blingin' kind of metallic highlight. I think this was a great release by Urban Decay. I love that it's not too glittery. Awesome, awesome highlighter. Now we're gonna get into lips and eyes. I had a really hard time narrowing these down. Eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadows, lipsticks, those are my favorite, favorite things in makeup. So I do have two choices for eyeshadow and lipstick. My first pick for best lipstick are the Too Faced Melted Mattes. I love these, I've raved about them so much. I think they're comfortable, they're beautiful, the packaging's beautiful. I can't say enough good things about these. Too Faced Melted Matte, probably the best liquid lipstick I've ever tried, and I've tried a lot. I really have to mention in the lip category the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips. I think ColourPop has done something really special with these. They are so comfortable. They don't dry down all the way matte, like a true matte liquid lipstick. They are a satin finish, and they are just opaque and affordable, and I think these are a serious contender for best lipstick of 2016. There were so many great palettes launched this year. It was really tough for me to pick a favorite palette, but I have to say my favorite palette of 2016 is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just so-so on the packaging. It has this kind of velvety texture and it does tend to get product stuck to it and get a little bit dirty, but the shades are absolutely stunning. I love the formula, I love the shade range. This is mostly matte, and the brush that comes in the palette is incredible as well. And usually the brushes included with palettes are not really that great for me. I also really love that this palette is permanent. It's not one of those overhyped, limited edition, and then it sells out and it's gone kind of palettes. No shade, but shade, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
I love that everyone can get their hands on this. I just think this is an incredible palette. I am going to give an honorable mention to the Zingara Quad from ColourPop. I love ColourPop. I love ColourPop shadows, and I think this quad is probably one of the best eyeshadow products that ColourPop has ever come out with. When it comes to mascara, I'm not incredibly picky. However, I did discover a new mascara this year that has kind of changed the game for me. It's the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is my second tube. I just, I, it never fails me. It's really, really affordable. It's it looks great, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't smear, it's easy to remove. I use the non-waterproof version and I just love it. This is really worth checking out if you haven't tried this mascara. Vanessa and I decided to add a few fun extra categories into our favorites, so we're going to get into those now. First up is Best Drugstore, and I have two products for this. The first is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. I have dry skin and this is just incredible. It looks natural. It gives me a little bit of a dewy glow, but not too shiny. It doesn't make me look oily. And I just, I can't get enough of this. Once I got it, I was addicted to using it and it kind of actually screwed up one of my project pans. But this is a great foundation for dry skin. My other drugstore favorite is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Contouring Palette in the shade Dulce de Leche. There is a deeper shade. It's too dark for me. The powders are really easy to blend. They're just the perfect amount of pigmentation. They're not too dark that they're intimidating to work with, but they still show up nicely. I mean, this is just, this is definitely a drugstore winner for me. Now for best high-end product, I chose the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I can't tell you how much I love this. I can wear it on its own. I can mix it with foundation. I can wear it under foundation. I mean, this this little bottle of goodness right here, if you have dry skin and you like a little bit of something dewy, you really, really need to try this. It's worth the price tag. This is a beautiful product. The next category is Best Dupe. I think this is so fun. I didn't find nearly as many good dupes this year as Vanessa did. She finds amazing dupes. Make sure you keep track of her dupe lists on Instagram and on her blog. By far, my favorite dupe that I found this year is the NYX Micro Brow, which is a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz. The packaging looks super similar. Both have a twist up pencil on one end and then a spoolie on the other end. I think they look exactly the same on the brows. They work exactly the same. The only difference is the NYX Micro Brow is a lot less expensive. Our next category is Best Limited Edition Product. There were a lot of really amazing limited edition products that came out this year, but the standout for me is the Refined Romance Palette from Lorac. This was a Nordstrom exclusive. I did a whole video about this, so I won't talk too much about it. I'll link that on a card and in the description box if you want to learn more about this palette. I did spot a few of these at Nordstrom Rack not too long ago, so if you have a rack near you, go and check it out. If you see one of these, buy like 10 because this palette is awesome. I don't know if you know this about me, but I pretty much basically do nothing with my hair. So Vanessa is going to do a category for best hair product. I really don't have anything to contribute to your life as far as hair care goes. So I'm going to substitute a category here and that's going to be best packaging. When I got this product, I just spammed you all on Instagram with tons of pictures of it. I still post tons of pictures of it. I hate that it was limited edition, but I love the packaging so much. I can't stop taking pictures of it. That's the Rose Quartz Shimmering Skin Perfector from Becca. Just look at this compact. Look at it. Now look inside. I mean, come on. Tell me that you're not just living and dying for this, because I am. With so many adorable, cute packaging products that came out this year, this one just seems really special. It's really unique. I love this. Becca, bring this back. I know you're not watching, but we want it. We love it. Next up is Brand Obsession of 2016. And this will be absolutely no surprise to you if you've watched any of my videos or if you follow me on Instagram. I am absolutely ColourPop obsessed. 
I cannot get enough ColourPop. I have way too much. I just swatched my entire collection. If you want to check that out, you can see some of my favorite things. I don't know what else to say other than ColourPop just keeps killing it in 2016 and I absolutely can't wait to see what they do this coming year. I do want to give an honorable mention to Caked. I love the Caked lip fondants. I do want to do a lip swatch video because I have all the shades. I love the packaging, I love the way they smell, I love the way they wear, I love the shades. So my honorable mention for brand obsession definitely goes to Kate. For best holiday collection, it has to go to MAC. The Nutcracker Sweet collection is just, I mean, the packaging is beautiful. They've really stepped up their game as far as the formulas in their holiday releases. They came out with so many great products. I did do a little haul of some of the holiday collection for MAC, so if you want to check that out, I'm going to link all the videos that are related to any of the products I mentioned, so make sure you check that out. I believe that the MAC holiday collection sets are all on sale right now, so if I can find any of my favorite things still available, then I will link that for you to shop to. The very last category, we made it to the end, the last category we chose is best new release. Towards the end of the year, a lot of new things start coming out. Sometimes you haven't had enough time to decide that they're your favorite, but there is one that absolutely hit it out of the park for me. I know a lot of you guys will agree. It's the Master Palette by Mario from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The shade range is beautiful. It's so wearable. Like I said, I love the formula. I love the brush. I am going a little bit crazy for the Anastasia palettes, and I like it. Unfortunately, the Master Palette was limited edition. I think it's probably sold out everywhere now, but if I can find it anywhere online, I'll link that for you too. That wraps up my 2016 beauty favorites. Make sure you leave in the comments what your favorites were for this year so that we can all go check them out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.